fortunate because we've had so many opportunities to grow as, uh, as people and as teammates because freshman year, the guys that decided to come, um, we had been recruited by Coach Tressel, and then after all that, we were, uh, Coach Fickle was the head coach, so we had to grow from that and be able to be like, okay, it's bigger than one person, let's be a part of this team, and then uh, it was a rough season, so you have to, you get that side of it. Sophomore year, a new coach comes in, and he comes in hard, um, and so you have a chance to grow there, uh, have a 12-0 and season, but you don't have a chance to move on to the postseason, so everything in your mind is wondering, well, what could have happened? And then last year, we had a chance to know what, what could have happened, and we, we didn't uh, take advantage of it. And this year so far, we've taken advantage of our opportunities, and we, can, we plan on continuing that. What do you like about this team for the future, since this is your graduation year? I think it's a close team. Um, I think once I leave, it'll continue to be a close team. Uh, Coach Meyer also always talks about culture, and I think the culture that we're building is really strong. Guys uh, love the grind. We love to work. Um, there's always competition, but it's past competition of like being, I don't know, being aggressive towards your teammates and competition is wanting everybody to grow. So I think that's hard to find consistently in a team, and I hope that continues because that's what has gotten us to where we are today. What does, like, say, gotta, sorry, what does that say about the character of this team? I think we've got great character on the team. Um, coming in, everyone's going to be a little immature, and I think that has a lot to say about the guys that were uh, before me that have really just instilled those values in the, these seniors, and we're trying to instill those values in the younger guys, and I think it's starting to, to work. Michael, you had an Alabama offer uh, in high school. I don't know how deeply you got into it with them. Um, did you ever have interactions with Nick Saban, and, and can you reflect on your recruiting process and, and what it was like maybe to work with him or to you know go through it with him? You know, I was, I was interested in Alabama, but um, I never really visited or anything. I talked to uh, Nick Saban on the phone one time, but that's about it. I couldn't tell you what he said. Um, they were a winning team and still are a winning team. And it, I mean, it's interesting to, to look at and see where I am now and uh, what would have happened if I went to Alabama. And I'm really happy with being at Ohio State. And like I've said, I've always wanted to play Alabama because they're consistently one of the best of the best. So, I mean, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. He's come up here quite a bit trying to get Ohio. How hard is it to get an Ohio kid from the Midwest to leave and go down there? It's hard because I know that, at least at my school, at Centerville, um, people love Ohio State. Growing up, I never really had that big of an allegiance because I just don't, I don't know, delve into stuff too much. But um, people, were, as soon as I got that Ohio State offer, I was almost being forced into Ohio State, which almost made me not want to go to Ohio State because people were telling me to. But um, I don't know, it just, if you, go to, if you live in Ohio, it's hard to resist Ohio State because it's such a great college and it's close to home. It didn't doesn't make too much sense to leave.